Dear parents, brothers, sisters, relatives, and friends, we are gathered as friends of Elizabeth and William to witness that joining in the state of marriage that men and women have entered joyfully and responsibly with full anticipation of its faith keeping. Before us, these two shall profess their love for each other, the blending of their lives, and their comradeship of mind heart. Out of two separate beings, they shall create one life in which each, in his and her own way, shall become more complete because of the other. From joys and sorrows shared, they shall grow in love and loyalty. From any pain given and forgiven, they shall grow in mutual understanding. What we as friends now celebrate and the state makes legal, these two shall henceforth make real. <clears throat> True marriage is a partnership of two individuals who strive to grow together in their differences for their mutual happiness, who work for the achievement of their common ideals, and who recognize in each other individual lives to be lived, rights to be maintained, and talents to be developed. The ceremony that we perform here does not guarantee the success or permanency of this marriage. The real and lasting happiness of a true marriage depends upon the willingness to give as well as to receive and to create out of separate hopes and ideals, shared love and trust. When two individuals meet, so do two private worlds. None of our private worlds is big enough to encompass a truly wholesome life. We need the wider world of joy and wonder, of purpose and adventure, of toil and of tears. What we are, any of us, are we, but strangers and sojourners wandering through the night until we draw together and find the meaning of our lives in one another, dissolving our fears in each other's courage, making music together, and lighting tongues of flame to guide us through that darkness. We thank Elizabeth's parents and William's parents. Here today, their families and friends and all here present for the trust and affection that have brought to this place and hour Elizabeth and William, who shall be joined together in covenant with, with each other and with all of you. We rejoice in the freedom of adventure, in the ardor of affection, and in the radiance of loyalty that unite the beloved to the beloved. Ultimately, two people who love each other must ask themselves how much they hope for as their love grows and deepens, and how much risk they are willing to take. It is indeed a fearful gamble. To marry is the biggest risk in human relations that a person can take. If we commit ourselves to one person for life, 
This is not, as many people think, a rejection of freedom. Rather, it demands the courage to move into all of the risks of freedom and the risk of love which is permanent, into that love which is not possession, but participation. It takes a lifetime to learn another person. When love is not possession, then it is part of that co-creation which is our human calling. Please state your intentions. Elizabeth and William, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? Will you love each other as husband and wife for the rest of your lives? And now please give your consent. I, William, take you, Elizabeth, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and bad, in sickness and in health. I will love and honor you all the days of my life. Elizabeth, say Elizabeth. Take this ring <laughs> as a sign of my love and fidelity with all that I am and all that I have. I will honor you all the days of my life. William, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity with all that I am and all that I have. I will honor you all the days of my life. Inasmuch as Elizabeth and William have grown in knowledge and love of one another, because they have agreed in their desire to go forward in life together, seeking an ever richer, deepening relationship, because they have pledged themselves to meet sorrow and joy as one family, we rejoice to declare them as husband and wife. May the love that has brought you together continue to grow and enrich your lives, bringing peace and inspiration to each of you and to those who you know. May you meet with courage the problems which arise to challenge you, and may you meet with strength the troubles that may beset you. May your marriage be one of ever-growing depth, meaning, and perfection. Because of the sympathy, understanding, and love you give to one another <coughs> in the life you now share. We charge each one present, family, friend, to do all in our power to aid, sustain, and encourage the union of love of this man and this woman. Let no one come between them or discourage two people who have pledged themselves one to the other as husband and wife. This marriage singles a new beginning and a restructuring of relationships. Let us recognize this change and foster it with all goodwill. May these two find happiness in their union. May they live faithfully together, performing the vow and covenant between them made. And may they ever remain in sympathy and understanding that their years may be rich in the joys of life, and their days good and long upon the earth. Because you have set yourselves on this road and chosen to walk it together, you have made a marriage. You are married to each other, and we are here and truly glad to recognize you as husband and wife. With abiding confidence and affection, we send you forth upon your journey of life together to laugh for joy, to suffer pain, to seek, to serve, and to find that pot of gold at the end of your rainbow. So be it.